Well, hey there, everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make acrylic ornaments with just vinyl and some paint on the back. This is probably the simplest approach to acrylic ornaments. Um, this could even be kid friendly. If you don't want to do the vinyl, you could just have your kids paint them. Um, I'm doing a whole series on acrylic ornaments right now. I have several different ways, including um, engraving and gold gilding and glittering the back of them. So make sure you check those out. I'm going to link them below as they come out. If you would like any of the files and designs that you see here today, then you can find those on my blog that is going to be linked below for you. Let's go over the other supplies you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need the acrylic disc ornaments. You can find these on Amazon. I have a full resource list um, in the blog post that goes with this video. And you'll also need to have some paint and choice colors. I recommend going with something like a metallic paint because it's going to look um, rather, instead of a flat paint, the metallic is going to have a nice shimmer and it's going to make it look a little bit more dressed up and fancy. I'm going to be using my Cricut machine for this. You could use any Cricut machine since we're cutting very small decals for ornaments. Um, the Explorers, the Maker Models, the Joy will even work for that. I also have some paint brushes here to put my paint on. And then I have my vinyl of choice. I'm using a permanent vinyl for this option um, for my choice. Don't use a removable because you want this to last a long time. So permanent is what you want to go with. And then a weeding tool as well. So let's go ahead and get started with this craft. Okay, the first thing you need to do with any acrylic ornament is it comes with a film on both sides to protect it. So you need to remove that film. You can kind of pick at it gently with your finger or you can use very carefully a weeding tool to get it started and then peel that back. And what I like to do um, when I'm doing pretty much any of my acrylic ornaments is I like to leave one side of the film on and only take one side off the working side where we're going to be adding our paint. That way if we get anything on the other side by accident, we can just peel that film off and we know that the side that our uh, vinyl is going to go on is nice, fresh, and clean. So I like to leave one side on that I'm not working on and just remove the side that I'm adding the paint to. Like I said a moment ago, I am using a metallic paint here. There's lots of brands that have metallic paint. I have this one here I got at Target, this one I got on Amazon. Um, you can check out my supply list for that blog post below that has all of those links for you. And you just wanna make sure you shake your paint really well. Now with acrylic ornaments, you are gonna need to do at least two coats because it is a very um, high luster plastic that the paint's gonna kinda of slide around on. So I recommend doing at least two coats, let it dry in between those coats. I'm just going to do a swipe across here, but of course you could sort of do like, you know, at a diagonal or you could even paint the entire thing if you wanted to. So it's really your call. I just like to put paint right onto the actual surface and then just very gently spread it out. And when you're painting on these acrylic ornaments, you don't want to, you want to hardly make any contact with the surface of the actual ornament. You really want the brush to just be gliding along the paint itself and moving the paint around. You don't want to actually be like brushing into the ornament. Um, so that will really help the paint go on a lot thicker and not look as translucent as well. So you're just going to work this back and forth. And this is just my first coat, so it's going to need to dry for a good probably 30 minutes at least before I start adding on a second coat. And the first coat is going to definitely have some translucent, um, look a little translucent because you're putting that very first coat down. So it'll really start to fill, fill in and get more solid when um, you add that second coat on. So as you can see, we've gotten some paint around here, which is one of the reasons why I like to keep that film on the opposite side. So that if anything happens to get over there, we're not trying to wipe it up. We just get to peel that film off later. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. And I'm gonna do the other one. All right, so I'm using my Maker 3, so I'm actually using a Smart Permanent Vinyl here. But if you're using a different model machine or don't wish to use the Smart material, then of course you can just load it onto a mat as you would traditionally do. I've already scaled all of my phrases in Cricut Design Space. That's going to be up to the size of your ornament. I have a four inch ornament, so all of my phrases stayed around 3.5, 3.6 inches at its widest point. So again, just measure your ornament and then scale them to a desired size. Okay, my vinyl is finished cutting now. Unload this 
trim down my design here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and weed these designs. Just starting at the top corner, peel your vinyl away, go nice and slow, make sure you're not lifting anything up that shouldn't be lifted. This is, again, a smart permanent vinyl, but of course you would weed any other vinyl the same way. All right, so I'm gonna start adding these onto my ornaments here, and we need to peel that film off that we left on that other side before we start doing that. My paint is completely dry, so make sure it is because as you're pressing the vinyl on, you don't want anything on this other side to like peel up if it's slightly tacky. Um, I do recommend, if you want to make ensure that your ornaments are going to last a very long time, I recommend spraying the side with the paint with a little bit of acrylic sealer, just a, a Craylon clear acrylic sealer spray will just help protect that paint longer. So I do recommend that. Just spray it, uh, give it a quick spritz um, in a well ventilated area, let it dry, and then you can go ahead and add on your phrases here. So I'm going to peel off the side here with the additional film and as you can see here with this one I got some extra paint which is why I recommend leaving that film on the opposite side that way if you get anything on it when you take the film off then anything that you get on that side will come off as well and it's a nice fresh clean surface all right so I have some transfer tape here I'm just going to lay that down on top of my design and I'm going to burnish it on the front and on the back Okay, now I'm going to peel the liner away from the transfer tape. If anything's not sticking to the transfer tape, just crease, press, and roll it away, and it should go onto the transfer tape. All right, double check that you're using the smooth side, not the side with the paint on it. And go ahead, and I like to just hover until I feel like it looks centered to my eye. And then I go ahead and I press it down. And you want to peel the transfer tape away. You want to pull it straight back towards yourself. Don't lift up or that's going to make the uh, vinyl want to try and come up. You want to pull it straight back towards you. There we go. So there's that one. The last step is to add a ribbon. So I usually cut about six to eight inches in ribbon, pull the two tail ends through, and then open up the loop you've created and pull through just like so. And then you may want to clean up your ends once you've done that. And there is how I would make painted acrylic ornaments with vinyl. These are probably the easiest way to make acrylic ornaments. And if you wanted to keep it even more simple, you could eliminate the paint and you could just put vinyl directly onto these and just decorate them with vinyl purely. Um, definitely a quick and easy approach. You can make a lot in a short period of time. I have lots of other acrylic ornament tutorials that are coming out. I have ones with gold gilding and with glitter. So make sure you check those out as well on my YouTube channel because there are lots of different ways you can make these beautiful acrylic ornaments. I'll see you there. Merry Christmas and bye for now.